And welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to another season, the 2019 NFL season, my 10th year on YouTube, giving you my bold predictions. Looking really forward to another great year. I'll be joined by Billy B. We'll be giving you college picks as well, NFL picks. And this year, we're going to have a little extra special edition. We're going to have a contest for you. That's all coming up. Now, normally this is where Billy B would give you his college picks, but Billy and his wife just gave birth to their second child, Skylar Grace. Welcome to the world, Skylar. And so Billy's not able to come on camera, but he did give you his picks for this week in college. Uh, he likes Akron at home against UAB plus nine. He likes Auburn at home against Tulane minus 17. He likes Western Michigan at Michigan State plus 17. And his fourth pick, is Minnesota minus three at Fresno State. Now, Billy was red hot last year with his college picks, and he'll be back next week. Uh, he's gonna do really well this year. He's got an extra mouth to feed, so you'll see Billy next week. Okay, here are my NFL picks for week one. First game we're going to look at has the Kansas City Chiefs going to Jacksonville, where the Jaguars are three-point dogs at home. Last year, no team upgraded more at quarterback than Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes came in for Alex Smith, who's not a bum, but Mahomes just was lights out when he threw 50 touchdown passes. Well, you know, this year they're going to have some tape on him from last year. And he also loses Kareem Hunt, his running back from last year. And uh, while they brought in uh, LaShawn McCoy, Shady isn't quite as shady as he used to be. Uh, Hunt got seven of those 50 touchdown passes, so there will be a drop-off. Meanwhile, Jacksonville uh, did the same thing as Kansas City with uh, upgrading at quarterback themselves, where Nick Foles comes in replacing uh, Blake Bortles, who was a bum. Foles led the Eagles a couple of years ago to the Super Bowl. He's going to come in, and uh, I, I think the... With, with that very porous Kansas City secondary, I think the Jaguars with Nick Foles can hang with them offensively. And don't forget, that defense is a lot better than Kansas City. I mean, a couple of years ago, they were they were this close to knocking off New England in what was it, the AFC Championship game. It's a top-notch defense. And I realize Jacksonville took a step backwards last year from the year before, but sometimes young teams have to do that in order to take the next step. I think Jacksonville is going to be one of the better teams in the AFC. They could actually win this game, and you get the points. So let's take Jacksonville plus three. The second game we're going to look at has the LA Rams going to Carolina, where the Panthers are two-point favorites, so another very good game. Obviously, the Rams are going to be favored by a lot of people. A lot of the public are going to be backing the Rams this year because they made it to the Super Bowl. Do you believe in the Super Bowl hangover? I do. Uh, it could happen to the Rams. I mean, last year going into the season, the Eagles were the defending champions. They lost the first game. I think the year before that, the the Patriots were the defending champions. They lost the first game. It could happen here. A couple of things of note. They gave quarterback uh, Jared Goff a big contract extension just before the start of the season. And uh, it's kind of curious because he was still on his rookie contract. And that's their business. But a lot of, a lot of times when the, the, uh, the one guy gets paid a lot of money, there's some resentment on, on the other team. I have some examples of that, but um, I don't want to get into it. But there could be some resentment from the other Teams, uh, the players on the team, it just happens. Another thing is Todd Gurley isn't quite as 100% as he was, was last year. Now, Gurley's fine, but he, he was a workhorse last year. He, I think he led the, uh, uh, league in, 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 well, at least in fantasy points. I think he, he ran away with it. He'll play, but he's not as effective. Meanwhile, uh, Carolina quarterback, uh, Cam Newton was, uh, you know, he was hurt all year last year. I think he's finally 100%. I think Carolina's going to rebound as well. Another team that's going to be a lot better than last year. Uh, they're at home. They play tough at home. And you get the points here in a game that Carolina can actually win themselves. Let's take the points. Let's take Carolina plus two. The third game we're going to look at has the Tennessee Titans going to Cleveland, where the Browns are our favorites. They're five and a half point favorites. I've got to get used to that. Uh, but the Browns are actually favorites. Um, Tennessee is a 
of all the average teams, they're probably the best of the average teams, but still not an elite team yet. Cleveland, uh, first of all, they got rid of Hugh Jackson last year, their, their, uh, their head coach. And the offensive coordinator, Haley, these guys were, uh, I think the game had passed them by. Meanwhile, on offense, start off with Baker Mayfield, a quarterback. The guy's a proven winner. Uh, his players love the guy. Uh, throw in Nick Chubb, who was barely used last year. Uh, running back, fantastic running back. And now you add in Odell Beckham Jr., my goodness. This is an offense that's stacked. they got uh, uh, players at uh, uh, wide receiver, tight end, really good. The defensive line might be as good as any team in the league. They're just much better on both sides of the ball than Tennessee, and it's not a big price to pay. So you know what? Let's lay the points. Let's take the Cleveland Browns, minus five and a half. And the fourth game we're going to look at is one of the Monday night games as the Houston Texans go to New Orleans. The Saints are seven-point favorites in this game. Saints are notoriously slow at the beginning of the year. As a matter of fact, they've lost the game one of the season five straight years. And Houston's not a bad team either. I, I realize they, they just ditched Jadavian Clowney, the, um, the t uh, defensive end. But you know what? Sometimes uh, you got uh, teams that do that, that make these curious moves, uh, they become better. You know, less is more sometimes. Oh, they also brought in Jer Laramie Tunsil. Tunsil? I can forget his first name. Um, uh, to help block, the, block for the quarterback. Uh, this is a t game where... The visitor can actually win, and you get a lot of points here. You get seven points, so let's take those points. And let's take the Houston Texans, uh, plus seven. Now, Billy likes three of my four picks. He also likes Jacksonville, Carolina, and Houston. Um, he also likes the LA Chargers, minus six and a half at home to Indy. Now, the Colts, of course, are going to be without Andrew Luck. I like that game, too. But let's, so uh, Billy wants to add in the LA Chargers, minus six and a half. Okay, I just want to make a little announcement of our contest for this year. Budweiser, at the end of last year, had this thing where you could collect 10 winter hats, um, beanies, as they call them in the States, and toques, as they call them in Canada. And they're, uh, one of the, the 10 teams was my Minnesota Vikings, so I had to win one of these toques, these beanies. So 18 tries later, uh, I finally got my Vikings. But what happens is I, I ended up with a whole bunch of other teams that they're the beanies that I don't want. Like, for example, uh, I've got, uh, I've got uh, the, the New England Patriots, Philadelphia, uh, Green Bay, I might burn that one. Uh, other teams, Miami. Um, so what I want to do is I want once a week I want to give away one of these these uh, beanies. And let's start off with the new the champions, the New England Patriots. All you have to do is in the comment section below put my favorite hashtag. Let's take the man's money. L T T M M. Hashtag L T T M M. And I'll put your name in a hat and I'll draw. It. And if I, you win, I will send you this. NFL Beanie, and we'll do that every week until they run out. Okay, here's my Let's Take the Man's Money parlay play and my six-point, six-game teaser play. With the parlay, I'll put it right beside my big fat head. Jacksonville plus three. Let's take Carolina on the money line, get a little greedy here. Cleveland minus five and a half, Houston plus seven. Let's throw in my Minnesota Vikings are at home against Atlanta. I think uh, Minnesota is favored by three and a half, four points. It's going up and down. Let's throw Minnesota on the money line. And the New York Giants in Dallas are playing. Ezekiel Elliott is back for Dallas. Obviously, uh, this is going to be a game featuring a lot of running. Elliott for Dallas and Saquon Barkley for New York it eats up a lot of clock. So let's take the under 45 and a half in that game. A $25 bet will get us $1,123.65. And for the six-game, six-point teaser, we'll take Jacksonville plus nine, Carolina plus eight. We'll make Cleveland a half-point uh, dog in this game. We'll, uh, we'll look at the, the Cincinnati Bengals are at Seattle. Seattle has an amazing record in, in September, the poor Bengals. Uh, so, you know what? Let's take Seattle minus three and a half. We're going to tease that one down. We'll tease Houston to plus 13. And in that, um, that Giants Dallas game, we'll tease the total up and take under 51 and a half, a $25 bet. We'll get us $175. Good luck.
Okay, those are our picks for this week. Good luck to you. It really feels good to be back. A little bit of rust to shake off, but that's okay. Um, I hope you like and comment in the section below. Please enter our contest. It's a chance to win an NFL beanie. And for Billy B, I am Gio. I've been waiting a long time to say this. Let's take the man's money.